But this leads naturally, I think, into another thing that we've been talking a lot about is women in in our industry. And there's that I know of, and I don't know if you know of anything else, but there's there's not a whole lot that's directed specifically towards women in, in this industry. And I think there's some maybe, I don't know, we've talked a little bit about some of your yeah. unique challenges. I don't know, you wanna share anything about what's it like being a woman? owner in this yeah industry. yeah i mean for me so i feel like this is like women in business in general like i hate to say this but i feel like sometimes we're counted out or maybe looked down upon a little bit in terms of just respect and abilities i've experienced in my professional career as you know a marketing consultant but in the laundromat specifically i mean just just even talking to distributors and them discounting you surrounding like what your experience is and like you know what you're talking like i know what i'm talking about right and if i don't i'm gonna ask the questions and i'm there for a reason and i've experienced things that just it's not right like in terms of how i was treated and i've learned that you have to be assertive a little bit you have to communicate you have to stick up for yourself i'm not one to sit back and like let somebody disrespect me or you know provide me a subpar experience just because i'm a woman I, even just walking around i will say this um the convention in atlanta last year like i definitely didn't feel like, like it, it's male dominated for sure and the diversity is just, it's not there for me industry-wide. But again, I feel like that's kind of similar in other industries too. But I feel like women can totally do this, right? Like you can totally run a laundromat by yourself. I saw my mom do it for several years before I came in to help her after my kids were a little bit older. It takes you know, it, it just takes a little bit more effort, which is unfortunate, but I do feel like, you know, having a voice is really important in this industry. I'm excited to be able to connect with other women. I think even just going to the, the convention, I was able to like network and meet other women owners and prospective women owners, and we're still connected. I connected with a few on Facebook, on the Facebook group, and it's for me it's really about like empowerment encouragement and also like sharing your your experiences because i think there's something to like i think there's something that you, they can learn from right like sharing how we're working through things sharing how we've experienced something how we're combating you know a challenge together i i feel like just makes us stronger you know and that my mentality is like i'm i i kind of like joked about the fact that we're in, you know I'm, there's four laundromats in a small town and you know three miles around like that's that's kind of tough to be profitable right but i think it takes just being able to like network and i said i know all like i actually know all those owners like i have their phone numbers in my phone i know that sounds crazy but like just being able to put yourself out there and just try to further what is what we're doing in this industry i think is is really important and i do like i want to i want to go back to the convention like in a couple years and i want to see like more women walking around there right and women walking without their husbands like i i that's like i know that might be a little far-fetched but i i want to see more people be empowered and encouraged to be able to like do this and take this on and it is an investment it's a time investment you know there's times where it's stressful and and it can be challenging but i do feel like all of us together i mean we we can do really great things right and i think the laundromat industry is one of those just like little hidden gems right like we're kind of operating like under you know the radar a little bit we're not a glamorized industry it's really, you know, some days are not fun. Some days are messy and dirty, but then there, you know, are days that are super rewarding. And for me, I, I love making connections. That's part of what I do in my nine to five in terms of just what I do. I think it's a part of my personality. So I definitely, for me, want to grow my network, make more connections. And I, I really want to see more women succeed. I do.